Hello friends, Justin Randolph, John Hill Baptist Church, Sevierville, Tennessee, uh, working through the Bible today in Isaiah uh, chapters uh, 9 through uh, chapters 12, and um, God is, is still speaking. Uh, yesterday I posted a video uh, regarding uh, how it amazes me the times we live in are very comparative to the times that Israel was in. Uh, when Isaiah and Amos and Micah were prophesying a, a coming judgment against Israel. Um, perhaps you've heard it said, do you want the good news or the bad news? Um, sometimes there's um, two sides of a coin and uh, many times we, we want to hear the good news but don't want to hear the bad news. Um, in Isaiah, uh, so far through the first 12 chapters, he gives us both. Um, the first thing he gives us is the bad news that judgment's coming. He says in chapter 9, uh, verses um, 18, Surely wickedness burns like a fire. It consumes briars and thorns. It sets the forest thickets ablaze, so that it rose upward in a column of smoke. By the wrath of the Lord Almighty, the land will be scorched, and the people will be fuel for the fire. No one will spare his brother. Uh, the Lord is talking about coming judgment. And the problem is... Um, Verse 13 of chapter 9 says, The people have not returned to me. Um, you know, God has warned them repeatedly uh, about their sin, their wickedness, their pride. And that's really the problem. The problem is their sin, their wickedness. Um, the Lord says, I will punish you for the willful pride of your heart and the haughty look in your eyes. For they say, By my strength and by my hand, I have done this, and by my wisdom, because I have understanding, I have uh, plundered, I have built I have uh, done these things in other words people have forgotten about God um, you know some people say what's the hardest test to pass the test of adversity or the test of prosperity well I'm here to tell you today friends it's the test of prosperity uh, because during times of prosperity we tend to become prideful and pat ourselves on the back and, and talk about how great we are and all that we have done but the Bible said it tells us that um, we have to glorify God and remember what He has done. Um, it's easy, so easy to become identified by our accomplishments rather than our relationships, and particularly our relationship with the Lord. Uh, what, what benefit is it, the Bible says, if we gain the whole world? You know, we're the king of the world, but yet we forfeit our soul. What benefit could that have? Uh, Paul said it this way, the things I once uh, thought were important are gone. They've become rubbish. They're dumped in the trash can so that I might embrace Christ. In other words, the Apostle Paul was very educated and very uh, successful in, in what he did uh, and very well spoken and thought of uh, in the places that he ran. was very prosperous uh, and very well off but he came to realize that it was all for naught if he did not have a relationship with Christ. But there is good news, friends, and the good news is uh, told to us in Isaiah chapter 10 and 11 and 12. In Isaiah 10, 27, the Bible says, in that day, the coming day of the Lord's return, their burden, your burden, will be lifted from your shoulders, your yoke from your neck, the yoke broken because you've grown so fat. See, they, they, they didn't pass the test of prosperity. They'd grown fat. They'd forgotten about the Lord. But the Lord says in that day, you will recognize me and the, the burden will and of your yoke will be broken. And then Isaiah 11 verse 9, it says, For the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Oh, what a wonderful day that will be when the whole earth is filled with the knowledge of the Lord. And Isaiah 12 verse 4, In that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known away the nations uh, that he has done, and proclaim that his name is to be exalted. What a great day that's going to be. But friends, here's our choice today. We can bow our knees today or we can bow them then. The Bible says one day every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. My question today is this, will you bow now? Or will you bow later? Friends, there's good news. There's bad news. The bad news of judgment. The good news of the mercy of God. But we must believe it and we must receive it today as our own. God bless you. Have a great day. Hope these thoughts helped you.